Hello everyone, it's Margaret here with 60 and Me. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that you're doing well wherever you are. I've got a topic today that's just a fun one for me and I hope it brings out some memories and some uh, some thoughts for you too. Now, a lot of women in our 60 and Me community, well, in fact, everyone who was raised in the 60s, um, has a slight bohemian nature to them. And I was uh, recently um, asked by all of you to do some uh, videos about myself and my life. And uh, as I was doing uh, the videos, I realized how much of an unconventional life I had and this is the quality of bohemianism uh, or being a bohemian that is really attractive to to me so are you a, a, a vagabond a, you know a sort of a, an adventurer a traveler um, and do you have that you know that quality of life where you you just are not quite settled with things as they are you want to do more you want to explore more and live a more alternative life now the bohemian style you know the boho style boho chic has been around for a long time and it kind of goes through waves, you know, where bohemian clothing and bohemian um, fashion and lifestyle comes back into our world and we all pick up on it and <laughs> enjoy it. But um, I and I and I actually feel like uh, for me, it's the most natural way to dress and the most natural way to think. Um, who are bohemians? I mean, bohemians um, are the people who are living a fairly unconventional lifestyle and they often are attracted um, in that to like-minded people. They want to be part of a community. And so they're, you know, they're wanderers, adventurers, and they also have this quality of appreciation for the arts, you know, music, uh, dance, that quality of kind of uh, um, creativity. I think people that are doing creative things with their lives and also expressing themselves in creative ways. So dancing, belly dancing, you know, whatever kind of dance makes you feel, um, you know, kind of, Oh, I don't know, just expressive. And also a passion for things that are handmade, handmade furniture or, or clothes. And I'll talk a bit about clothing because I, th I think for me, that's kind of one of the main, um, you know, ways that we can express ourselves as boho people, as boho, with boho style. So um, let's take about, think about colors first. I mean, colors for bohemians, I mean, I'm just talking generally about this, quali this uh, category, by the way. <laughs> and that's part of its beauty is there is no, category. There's no definition, but mostly there's a passion for color, you know, for bright colors. And as we've talked to people in our 16 me community, it's come out that that's the kind of a quality of a preference of pinks, oranges, yellows, greens. And uh, there's a, um, another quality of bohemian lifestyle is the connection to nature. Uh, so there's a lot of blues and greens and colors that you would browns that you would find in nature because there's that connection, that feeling that you're part of a an organic, beautiful world of, uh, you know, of, of your own. So color is super. Now I, I'm going to ask you to think right now, what are your favorite colors? What are the first ones that come to mind? And I know there will be some people that say black and I'm the black on the bottom person. I always wear black trousers, but then I wear something on the top like this that kind of, you know, accentuates or, or, or access, uh, accessorizes. So clothing, I think, um, also patterns like paisleys and floral prints. Um, not so much for me on that, but I, I do love those things in my world. You know, like in my, in my house, I've got, at, um, you know, floral um, notebooks and, and, and floral accessories, but, um, but paisleys and a lot of countries that influence the bohemian lifestyle, like India, for example, are really well known for those like block prints and kind of interesting design elements that they make from natural or uh, natural dyes, like indigo, for example. Anyway, I'm rambling a little bit, but you get the idea with color. I think color is really powerful for the bohemian lifestyle, for the boho person. The other thing is um, accessories. Now, um, I, I put this one on today because it's both a beautiful color. I mean, it's that beautiful bright color. And I made this. I made this with Fimo, um, that kind of um, uh, clay that you bake. I, you know, I mixed the colors together and I made different kinds of beads and I, and I made it. And that's the kind of thing that boho people, boho um, bohemians like. That kind of what's made by hand. It's made using natural ingredients. And if you look at some of the, you know, just type in Google, the, um, you know, what is an, um, Bohemian accessories, you'll find shells and, um, you know, mysterious kind of objects <laughs> glued together, you know, things that just are, are a kind of a mixture sometimes of different elements, different colors, but um, accessories for sure. Earrings, big earrings. I don't wear them so much anymore, but, you know, big hoops and hanging earrings, definitely part of the Bohemian look if you're into that. And, and are you, are you a bohemian? I mean, do you, when I'm, as I'm talking, are you kind of relating to this? Do you feel like that's 
the style of that, you, that represents you. Um, anyway, so a home, a boho style home might include um, in things that are on the floor like cushions, mattresses, um, uh, and cushions that are floral and peacocks on them and kind of really bright colors. Things that, um, you know, maybe have a very simple um, decor like white or black or brown, but then you, you in, in, embellish it, that's the word, embellish it with different um, colors, different shapes, different elements. And that, you know, that beautiful um, trinket, that treasure box you picked up somewhere at a, at a garage sale or in, you know, when you were traveling, that's got prime of, of place because it's like, it's important. It's an experience that you remember, not just the thing, right? It's not the, It's not about things. Now, bohemian is kind of a, um, a contradiction because bohemian uh, lifestyle involves products and, and you know, the, the, life, the lifestyle has a design element to it. But at the same time, uh, there's not a focus on stuff. It's more of a focus on um, uh, the experiences and lifestyle than it is on the thing itself. So what else? Uh, I've talked about accessories, boots and, and shoes. I mean, totally. I mean, I had lace up boots. I still love lace up boots and, um, you know, like things like scarves and hats and things that are, again, unconventional. That's the word. It's like, like life's, uh, the bohemian lifestyle is unconventional. It is saying, Okay, I got it. That's a trend, but I'm not going there. I'm going to stay with this. This is what I love. So, um, you know, artificial colors, artificial textures, um, and, you know, sort of made up things that are made by machine are not quite so intriguing as somebody that takes um, a shirt and, and upcycles it or changes it and transforms it into something else. Um, so what else is there in the home? Um, wall hangings, murals. I've got several, you know, things that are, that are paintings and murals. Uh, that kind of thing that personalize your space. That's really really important Persian rugs any anything really from Persia or any of those places that had a history of gorgeous um, creativity and, uh, and historical context too I mean even I would even say like medieval times you know some of the beautiful ornaments and jars and um, vases that you can get that come from that time period are also bohemian again it's those things that have a history you know that have a cultural perspective to them what am I missing? Uh, thinkers, I mean, Bohemian thinkers, they're all the people that are, you know, outside the box, maybe not following, like the coloring book, they're, they're drawing outside the lines. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm actually definitely one of those because I have coloring books that I, I color for, you know, just relaxation and I never worry about being in the lines. In fact, I buy those um, coloring books that are black, you know, they have black um, pages so that if you run over the edges, you're coloring inside the black spaces. Do you know what I mean? I, those, those are really cool. Anywho. So artistic things like, you know, taking pottery classes, art classes, you know, wanting to like I make necklaces or, or you know, things with unusual ingredients, having a fascination for the unusual, for the unique. So are you a bohemian? Would you consider yourself a boho soul? I think that a lot of us are boho in our nature, in our spirit, in our the way that we express ourselves. And I think that's part of actually, to be honest, what's drawn a lot of 60 and Me women together. Because I think we are, um, we've played a lot of games in our lives. We've, we've changed our appearance and our, our uh, roles and our actions to fit in. We wanted to succeed. We wanted to earn money to, to, to you know, to, to raise a family or whatever, to pay the bills. And you sometimes have to play the game. It's not always, you know, your bohemian lifestyle can, has to kind of sometimes be in the closet a bit. But come on out. Let's do it. Let's show it. Let's talk to each other about being bohemian and what kind of qualifies you as a bohemian person. I think the biggest thing that qualifies me as a bohemian person is my berets. I love my berets. I wear them all the time. Well, you know this, you can see my pictures. And this is for me, a kind of my statement. You know, I love I love necklaces. I love uh, my, my berets, my hats. How about you? My lace up boots. <laughs> Let's share, let's be bohemians together. Let's uh, value and treasure and celebrate our bohemian style, our boho style. Are you boho? I hope that you have that quality in you at some place. And thank you again so much for being here. Like the video if you thought it was useful so we can share it around YouTube to other women. And again, join and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd love to have you here in our little world. So take good care, everybody. Lots and lots of love. Bye-bye for now.